This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head down and press through. No. The Lord is saying lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done. He showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Be Your Voice, Not an Echo. Uh, one more message I'm going to give you, but I want you to take just a moment to listen to the first round of this music here, okay? Hold tight. Hope I don't blast your ears out. Chantrell Davis. Those of you know me as Ambassador Davis, and I'm here to tell you, it's not going to get better. Okay? I led in with that message for a reason, because it's what they're telling everybody. But those of us who belong to the Lord and those of us who are here in his spirit, those of us who have a discerning of the sign of the times, it's not getting better. Okay? I have delivered this in more than one message over and over again. The word of God must be fulfilled. And if you're reading the word, you know it's not getting better. And you know it's not going to get better. Even when you listen to some of the words of that song, whatever sin I find myself in, I learn how to be secure. You ain't secure in your sin. Don't get me started on that. But I played that because I don't listen to it. Well, I got it on my playlist. But you can't take those kind of songs and take the words and believe it has anything to do with scripture about what the Lord has laid out. Because I'm telling you that the Lord, it is not getting better. I'm going to get right into this scripture. Now I want you to understand for those of us who are in Christ, it's going to be goodness and severity going on at the same time. When I say things are not going to get better, this world and nothing about it is going to get better. It is a sinking ship. It is on its way down. And the media is the band on the Titanic plan to lullaby you on the sleep so you can think everything's okay. But the Lord God is showing his prophets and prophetess, his seers, what is coming. Not only then, it is written what is coming to this place. Every word shall be fulfilled. He said, not one jot of tittle of my word. The earth will not pass away till all shall be fulfilled. It has to be fulfilled, y'all. And I'm going to hit a couple of scriptures here. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be, trust me, in the, that's why you have to stay prayed up, saints. Because your, if you don't, your eyes are going to be, in spirit, going to be vexed by what's going on around you. Because he's going to start to transfer this wealth into our heads because we have a work to do. It is going to get better for us. They're going to persecute us. Yes, the world is going to persecute us. But this world will not get better. Let me get straight off into this scripture. For those who like to say that all things work together for the good. And they stop there. Because that's what that song says. Romans 8 and 28. And we, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God who are called according to his purpose. All things work for your good. But listen up, all of y'all that's listening that don't belong to the Lord, that have not given your heart, and I mean giving your heart and sincerity, laid down your old way of living and being, not just saying a prayer. You believe in your heart unto salvation and you can uh, justif uh, justification, salvation, and confess with your mouth unto justification. You don't just, just say it robotically. John 10, 10. This is for your, those of you who don't belong to Christ. The thief cometh but to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That means if you choose death and you choose to stay in sin, what do you get? Stole from, killed, and destroyed. If you choose to come over, 
to Christ, you get life and you get it go abundantly. And as a minister and as his ambassador, I'm putting it before you. As though, as though I did beseech you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled unto the living God so that you can have life and have, have it more abundantly. But other than, other than that, every trial is a devouring fire to kill you. Every attack is to kill you. Every a wound is to destroy you. But the Lord uses those wounds to build and to fortify those who are called according to his purpose. Behold the goodness and severity. I'm telling you, this is what will be going on. The word of the Lord. There will be goodness and severity at the same time. Those who have yielded themselves and readied themselves for this outpour, readied themselves for this wealth transfer, for they know they have the right mind. They will use the money rightly. They will use their homes rightly. They will use their bodies rightly. They will use the wealth rightly. That's why he's giving it over. He is giving you the vision. Now the provision has come for that vision. The kingdom of God says the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And I'm telling you the time is now. It is at hand. It is given unto us. The world is not getting better. I don't care what Hezekiah is singing. Love you, Hezekiah. It ain't getting better. Okay? But understand and make these decrees for those of you who have yielded to the ways of living and being and you have readied yourself. And people don't understand when you've readied yourself, you press, sometimes eat Roman noodles, eating beans, eating rice, working on broken computers and has stuff half falling apart. The stuff me and my husband putting out, some of the stuff is so old, but we still press it because we believe his word. That's the faith that pleases God. Whether you see him, you keep going. Whether you feel him, you keep going. Remain. In the constant stance that he gave you last. If you ain't hearing him right away, he still got you doing what he told you to do. Keep doing what he told you to do. You need to understand, it's not getting better. But behold and decree the word of the Lord unto you who have yielded yourself rightly to the Lord, who have allowed him to strip you, who has allowed him to purge you. You have allowed the Lord to take out the dross through the whippings, through the beats, through the rejection, through the presumptuousness, through the, through the wrong uh, misunderstanding of people towards you, through the not going to take another job when you could to make the pressure easier on yourself, but to stay home like I'm staying home to be a minister and wife when we could have more, with me going out there getting temporarily what, the, what this world says is success, to wait and do it his way. It's pressure. So behold the decrees of the Lord. Okay? Because the world is going down. But we, receive this word, shall have abundance in place of adversity. We shall have in affluence in place of affliction. We shall have blessing in place of burnness. We shall have fullness in place of fragments. We shall have fruitfulness in place of failure. Prosperity in place of poverty. Riches in place of recession. Surplus in place of scarcity. Sus success in place of struggles and wealth in place of want. Receive that, beloved. Let me go on down for what's coming to the world. When pride has budded, the rod has blossomed. And we already know a blossom comes after a bud. But when pride has budded, the rod has already blossomed because the Lord is already way ahead. He ain't in our time. Ezekiel 7 through 10. Behold the day. Behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod had blossomed. Pride has budded. Fate has caught up with you. You will know it is I, the Lord, who has hit you. Fate has caught up with this world. Without total and utter repentance, they like to talk about Nineveh. You want to know why Nineveh got spurred? And Nineveh got destroyed way later because they went right back to it. But, but it was like a hundred or so years before they got destroyed. They repented. The, the, the head of the very nation repented in sack and ash talk, even the babies. They didn't feed the babies, the infants, the dogs, the cats, the cows. Everybody starved. They went on a fast. Everybody, even the babies didn't. They don't feed the babies. No, everybody went on the stick. They weren't going to die. Everybody went on a fast. Do you think that this country is going to do this? Revoke all these perverse laws? Turn around all these abortions and homosexual mergers and illegal things against the God? That's the only way judgment will stop her. There's the laying of it through prayers so more people get saved. But once the cup runneth over, and I'm telling you we there, okay? Let me go to verse 4, Ezekiel 7. God's word came to me saying, Son of man, God, the master, has, message for the, has a message for the land of Israel. This is spiritual Egypt. Why do you think we got the same things? I did it side by side. Those of you who haven't watched turn out to the right or the left, we look just like Egypt. This is Egypt. Okay? You trusting in, in Pharaoh and the horses and chariots. And he said you're going to both fall and fail together. The end time. Business as usual for everyone is over. It's all over. The end is up on you. This is the word of God in the message version, okay? 
The end is upon you. I have launched my anger against you. I have issued my verdict upon the way you live. I'll make you pay for your disgusting obscenities. I won't look the other way. I won't feel sorry for you. I will make you pay for the way you have lived your disgusting obscenities with boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. They're going to a reciprocity. I just delivered that message on you and you will realize that I'm God. In the verses five through nine, zero hour, time is up. God the master says disaster after disaster. Look, it comes in time and the end comes. The end is right. Watch out, it's coming. This is your faith. And let's say repent, nothing can change this. You who live in this land, times of this land, he mean the world, but I'm speaking to this land, Time's up. It's zero hour. No dragon on feet now. No bargaining for more time. Soon now I will pour my wrath out upon you. Make you pay against my anger. I'm going to render my verdict upon the way you live. Make you pay for your disgusting obscenities. I won't look the other way. Okay? I won't feel sorry for you. I'll make you pay for the way you've lived your disgusting obscenities will boomerang up on you. There it is again. Then you'll realize that it is I, God, who smited you. He said, you know, you will know that it is I, the God, who hit you. You're going to know it's him that hit you. You're going to be looking at the who did this on me. I did it, says the Lord. He said, I, you're going to know it's the Lord that hit you. Verses 10 through 13. Judgment day. Fate has caught up with you. The scepter has outsized the pretentiousness. Pretentious. Wow. The scepter didn't outsize you, pretentious. Pride bursting out of all bounds. What do you see? Violence is strutting, brandishing its evil scepter. When that is going on, when you see this strutting out here, this these lewdness in the street, this violence, that's the evil scepter being brandished. Okay? Um, yeah, violence versus the evil is branded as evil scepter, but there is nothing to them. This is what the Lord said. There's nothing to them, and there'll be nothing left of them. Time's up. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Buyer, don't crow. Seller, don't worry. Judgment, rap has turned the world topsy turvy. The bottom has dropped out of buying and selling. Hello? It will never be the same again. But don't fantasize about an upturn in the market. The country is bankrupt because of its sin. It's not going to get better, says the Lord. The trumpet signals to, to the battle. Uh, present arms, but no one marches into the battle. My raft has been paralyzed. This raft will have been paralyzed. Okay? On the open on the open road, you are killed or else you go home and die in hunger and disease. Either get murdered out in the country or die of sickness or hunger in the town. Survivors run to the hills. The moan, they moan like doves in the mountains and over their own sins. Every hand hangs limp and turns to rubble. He says, rough, they dress in rough burlap, sorry scarecrows, shifty and shame faces with head shaved bald. They throw their money into the gutters. Y'all understand with this, okay? Uh, I'm going to stop right there. It's not getting better, okay? It's not getting better for this world. This place is going to get so bad that if you don't hold close to the Lord, you will be vexed by the death, vexed by the murders, vexed by the rapes, vexed, vexed by the nudity. Like I see out here, vexed by the vileness of people, vexed by the treatment of people, the way they treat their kids and their mothers and their old people. You're going to be vexed if you don't stay praying in the spirit. Build yourself upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost so that you're not vexed because the Lord knows how to deliver the righteous out of all temptation and to reserve the wicked for the day of judgment. He knows how to deliver you out of all vexation of spirit. Behold the goodness and severity. So yes, I'm saying receive this word again and I'm going to repeat it. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Singing the song ain't going to change a thing. The Lord says don't look for up to It's not going to get better. But it will get better for those in the Lord, those who have yielded themselves and readied themselves by moving as the Lord has told them to move, not chasing after things the way the world says, get it. You went and get, you waited on him and you got it his way in obedience and you waited and you strove and you believed him and you prayed and you went without and you you were hungry and riding with one car, with no car, going to bed hungry sometimes, believing the Lord. Family rejecting you, friends that say that your friends not believing you, rejecting you, you held strong. And this wealth is about to come. Your name is about to be changed. You're about to enter, to the, enter the land he has promised you. So behold and decree over your household according to the word of God. Ambassador Chantra Davis is about to say this for you again. 
abundance in place of adversity, affluence in place of affliction. You will have blessing in place of burden. You will have fullness in place of fragments. You will have fruitfulness in place of failure. You will have prosperity in place of poverty. You will have riches in places of recession. You will have surplus. That is a warehouse in place of scarcity. You will have uh, success in place of struggles and wealth in place of won't, says the Lord. Behold the goodness and severity. Goodness to those who have yielded themselves to the kingdom. And severity, Father, in the judgment of the Lord God of those who have moved forth in rebellion in their self-willed ways. So I start off with that song to make my point. Everybody's singing it and smiling. And I'm here to tell you, it is not going to get better. You have got to prepare your soul for what's coming. How do you prepare your soul? Stay in the presence of the Lord that he's with you at all times. He is able to keep your mind in perfect peace to stay up on him. This world is being turned topsy-turvy. And the wealth transfer is happening because we have a work to do. He has given you a right mind to use all that he's given you inwardly and all that he's about to turn over to you outwardly. Having your right mind in Christ, you're going to use it rightly. Beloved, take this word before the Lord. Grace be with you. And I love you all. It is about to get better for those who are surrendered to Christ. But this world is not getting better. Sow into the good ground of preach be a voice, not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Word of God. First Corinthians 911 reads, if we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts to give visit our youtube channel and click on the paypal logo or go directly to paypal using the following links or email preach bvne at yahoo.com to listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers visit www.preachbvne.webs.com also view messages on the youtube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash preach be a voice not an echo ministry also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.